Hi guys, a supplementary video for this um, 3D printed boat. You might remember on episode, oh, what was it, four or five or six or something, I was getting trouble with one of the servos. It was overcorrecting itself. So I replaced it. That, that was one of these ones that was overcorrecting, and that's one of my servos in there. And uh, see if we can demonstrate. So we're on. Uh, if I just go left, right, it'll operate that servo. All right, seems to be absolutely fine. If I go up, down, I've actually got it connected up to this servo. So we've got this overcorrection going on. In fact, it goes quite wild. So, off, on again. That's really playing up now. Going really weird. Okay, switch it off. Unplug that ESC. Plug in an alternative ESC. space. Okay, alternative ESC. Left, right, happy. So, it looks like it's that ESC that's playing up. Not the servo. Not the receiver, not the transmitter, nothing to do with the gimbals. It's actually that ESC. Out of the three ESCs I could have chosen, it looks like it's that one. Uh, it's, where are we? Let's unplug the battery so we don't get confused. Let's disconnect that one. Disconnect that one, which is the one we were just using which I've had to do several adapter leads just so I can make use of it. So plug this one back in again to its normal position. Power on. Yeah. It's weird. It's some sort of interaction between that servo uh, that ESC and that servo. If I unplug that servo, off and on again. We don't have a problem. So my servo and that ESC is happy. This servo and that ESC off, on, put that one in, power on, as long as I don't use that servo, we're all right, use that servo, and we're, we're in a mess, off, Let's just plug that servo into the rudder position, just in case there's anything funny there. On. Yeah, it's, it's not the position on the receiver. It's that ESC and that servo. Change the ESC. Unplug that. Plug back in this other ESC. Get 
the right way round. In the right place. Swap the battery over. Okay, so this is the other ESC. The servo that plays up. It does a little crack there, doesn't it? there. What's my battery like at the moment because I haven't... Uh, 4.13, 4.08, 4.14, 12.3 overall. So it's certainly not flat. I mean, that's the other thing. It may be that it wants an absolutely fully charged battery to do the, do the business. But yeah, it looks like the ESC that I picked out of the pack with the servo that I picked out of the pack don't like each other. An alternative ESC that I picked out of the pack seems to be okay although it has got just a little bit of a twitch in there yeah just there so I'm not going to bother changing the ESC. I'm going to leave the one in there that was working because I'll use that receipt, uh, that servo, and it's happy with that servo. But it does seem to be an ESC and servo compatibility problem, which may be something to do with the um, FlySky receiver in the middle there somewhere. Don't know. But yeah, it looks like there's a an incompatibility between the whole setup. And if I revert back to my old servo, it's quite happy. So I'll take that one off. Unplug that. Plug that one back in. Power on, this will play up. Oh, ha. not point, point switching the power on if we don't plug the battery in. Plug the battery in. Power on. Yeah, and we got that problem straight away. Switch it off. Take that servo off. Put my servo back on. Power on, watching the rudder, no problem. So that may help some of the people who are offering me advice. Um, it may be an incompatibility of the complete setup. I use FlySky because it was cheap on eBay, so FlySky FlySky transmitter, FlySky receiver. Uh, I wouldn't know which brand servos I'm using. They were just the cheapest I could get on eBay. Nine gram servos. And set up like that, it works. If I use that servo, we get problems. BRC Hobbies, BRC 9HT, high torque. So get problems if we use that one with that ESC. If we use that ESC, we don't get as much of a problem. It had a little bit of a quiver, but not quite as much of a problem. So don't know. But I'm not going to worry about it because it works for me.
Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.